Are you looking for ways to be more confident on camera? You know you should be doing videos for your business, but you just can't quite get out of your head and stop freaking out about putting your face in front of the lens. Hey there, I'm Tracy Rose, and today I'm gonna to give you seven steps that actually work that will help you be more confident on camera. Now, I got some of these steps actually back from my radio career, and I know it's not exactly in front of the camera from those days, but I do do a lot of stuff in front of the camera these days, and some of those tactics that I use to broadcast all around the country on radio helped me transition to video. I've also taught a whole lot of students these strategies as well, and it has helped them immensely. If you are new to my channel welcome thank you so much for watching make sure you click that subscribe button give us a thumbs up and make sure you click that bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video let's get going okay I know it can be super nerve-wracking at times to get your face in front of the camera in fact I still sometimes get nervous even though I've been doing videos for a really 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 long time so you're definitely not alone in that factor but there's strategies that I do every single time I'm also going to give you a bonus as to how to get confident doing videos out and about because that's kind of like next level in the confidence field for doing camera work but we will get there let's just start with the basics and how you can get confident in front of the camera just doing a face-to-face -face video like this now a lot of people when they first start doing videos is they like to script out the whole video and look I get it you want to write out what you want to say that's totally fine but when it comes to going through your notes I personally don't like reading from a script and I'm going to share with you why. If you've ever watched people who read from a script you can kind of tell they're reading from a script unless they're really good at pretending they're not in front of a script. <laughs> Does that make sense? What it makes people do is put on like this weird robot voice and it happens every time I teach new clients, they start reading out exactly and they're like, today's video is about looking confident on camera. Tip number one, <laughs> and they get into this weird thing. You should be able to write your dot points down and then expand on those in a much more conversational way, just like I am right now. Now, if you make mistakes, that's okay. In fact, video is the best way to make mistakes because guess what? You get to edit it afterwards. Step number two. This is one of the biggest tips I learned from being in the radio industry. So if you didn't know, I come from the radio industry where I used to read, write, edit the news for Sydney and Brisbane. Now, after a while, I could read scripts and I could read news bulletins that were called sight unseen, but this is something I actually don't recommend and I don't recommend that you do it either so what I recommend that you do in this point is to read your script out loud or do your video once and then do it again <laughs> So basically you practice it a few times. Like why would you think being new to videos that you could do it in one take or just the first go? So if you do it a couple of times, you practice, then when you get to do the real video, you already know the stuff that you're gonna talk about. Again, it doesn't mean you're not gonna make mistakes here and there, but that's okay. The next thing that you wanna do is really get yourself in the mood for doing videos. For some people that's putting on some really cool music that you love to have a bit of a dance to, get excited about. Sometimes people love to to listen to motivational style videos and audio before they get started. For me, I like to set the mood and I love to use essential oils. And you can see I've got a diffuser going right here and these are some of the oils that I've used today. One of my favorite ones for doing videos is actually called Motivate. Citrus oils are also really great for uplifting the mood. So I love to use lemon oil or orange oil. But if you are particularly nervous, then maybe even putting something like a vetiver or a balancing type oil on you or in your diffuser will really help as well. When you change your physical state to a peak physical state, it will really give you a bit of a shift mentally and you'll be much more confident on camera. <laughs> this is one that most people don't think about unless you've had a lot of experience doing videos around your family, but I'm gonna give you this tip right now so you can get a head start. Prep your family. <laughs> What does that even mean? Make sure the children and the animals are fed so they don't keep interrupting you so that they are taken care of and you can get on with the job of getting your face in front of the camera and getting that video done that you really need to get done. So today I've got my dog downstairs with a nice big bone. My kids are off playing at friends' houses and the cat is happy too. It might actually be your partner who is the annoying one while you're trying to do videos. Like, just get everyone out of your space if you're not kind 
uncomfortable if that makes you more nervous or get someone who can help you. A lot of the times I will have clients that will want to be doing their first videos but they're really nervous about it and so I come in and help direct them to do their first few videos and it's almost like it helps them break the ice. So if you need some help with that, let me know. <laughs> What the hell am I doing with this weird bear rabbit thingy? This is part of my secret from radio in how to be confident when you're performing. And I took this from my radio days and I brought it to my video days and it helps a lot. So step number five is called the teddy bear method. When you're talking to camera, it's not really natural to be talking to a piece of machinery, is it? Whether you're talking to your camera or your phone, it's kind of weird. And a lot of people also kind of look in the wrong spot, but that's a whole nother story but it is not natural to be not talking to an actual human. After a lot of practice I've gotten used to talking to the camera and really believing I'm actually talking to you in real life but it's kind of hard to get some people's head around that so you can do a couple of things. We used to put a teddy bear in the news booth and we used to tell the news to the teddy bear. <laughs> And so it felt like we were telling the news to the teddy bear and actually talking to someone which made our voices much more conversational, much more confident because I felt like I was trying to impress the teddy bear with what was happening with the news today. So what you can do is go get a teddy bear or a toy or a doll, whatever doesn't make you feel too weird, put it near the camera and pretend that you're sharing your stuff, whatever is super important to you in your video to the Teddy. Now the other way of doing this is actually just getting a photo of someone that you love and putting it beside the camera and pretending that you are talking to them as well. So whatever you use, just tell someone either in a photo or your teddy and tell them what you need to tell in your video. Okay, let's go back to the bloopers thing. Actually, don't worry about too many bloopers. People find it much more natural when you do sometimes make mistakes. Now, I'm not saying leave all the mistakes in your videos, but sometimes it can be kind of funny. It can be super relatable, or you can even put some bloopers at the end of your video. People love that kind of thing. It's super fun. Also, if you're not doing a live video, you can edit those types of things out. It's absolutely not a problem. Now, the last thing with doing your videos is you're going to get more confident if you just keep doing them. Practice makes perfect. In fact, I've taught my kids how to do videos. Honey has her own channel which is all about making slime and the more and more she's done videos the more confident she gets, the less mistakes she makes and the more fun she has in them as well. Now one of the other things I wanted to add is something little extra about taking your video confidence to the next level and that is doing videos when you're doing when la la <laughs> making a mistake is when you are doing your videos with confidence out and about because I can tell you when you are out and about in a crowd or there's people around you it can get really nerve-wracking recording a video of yourself because you look super unnatural and maybe even a little bit full of yourself but you kind of get to get over that to get the good content so I'm gonna bring my daughter honey in and show you how we go do videos out and about recording ourselves and being confident I have to say a lot of it just takes practice but let's go <laughs> and now she doesn't want to be in the video because see she's not in the right mood really are you no no <laughs> Especially if you're doing videos for kids, you have to kind of make it fun for them. Sometimes you do get a little bit embarrassed being in the shops and stuff, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> what makes you want to do them anyway? Like what helps you be confident? Funness. Funness. Yeah, there you go. Okay, straight from the kid's mouth. So let's make it a bit fun. And when you're starting in the beginning, maybe just find a quiet spot to go do it. I don't know what it is. If it's maybe my age, young kids are not as embarrassed to film themselves, are they? Maybe it's just me, but... I know there's a lot of people who are super embarrassed about filming outside themselves. What I've normally done is gone and found somewhere that's a little bit quiet. Buddy, ready for the park? So see we're here out and about, but there's no one here. The more you do it, the more confident you get. The less you start to care about what other people think. If you want to practice with people around, maybe do it around people that you are more comfortable with, like your own family. <laughs> So again, I'm gonna reiterate my last point. Oh, <laughs> and that is to practice, practice, practice. That's really the way that you're gonna get more comfortable on camera. It's gonna be the way that you're gonna sound less like a robot. <laughs> and like you are actually talking to the person who's watching right now just like you are. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you click the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.